Humans are social animals, and it's unrealistic to think that you can continue without human contact. You crave rubbing shoulders with the mass of humanity. Maybe you allow yourself to go out in a public place for the first time since disappearing. But even when you're trying to blend in, you're keenly aware of video surveillance cameras. London has nearly half a million, and in New York City, there are enough video surveillance cameras to fill every seat in Yankee Stadium. Of course, video surveillance cameras could be the least of your problems. Even if there aren't cameras around, it's possible you're still being watched. For example, did you know that bird watching could be hazardous to your privacy? That's right. Anything involving binoculars, sketch pads, or cameras can be triggers for suspicious activities by local cops. And it doesn't stop there. You've just become part of a national surveillance program. Welcome to the fusion center. Fusion centers have nothing to do with nuclear energy. They're part of a surveillance system put in place after 9-11 as a means of streamlining intelligence between local, state, and federal agencies. There are at least 70 in America, one in every state, and their numbers are growing. Not a problem for your average law-abiding citizen. But what if this type of high-tech surveillance got in the wrong hands? Public places like this offer a wide field of vision for anyone with a handheld biometric reader, or BPAC, which any civilian can buy. BPACs can analyze your facial features. Even more incredibly, devices like this can read the irises of your eyes from up to 60 feet away. Facial recognition technology measures the landscape of a person's face. It analyzes features like the shape of your cheekbones or the distance between your eyes and assigns numerical codes. This face print can then be measured against an existing database for possible matches. Iris recognition is even more accurate, with a false reading of less than one in a million. Your iris is the eye's most colorful part, and biometrics can map its patterns and establish identity. The quick solution here is to cover up your face so that the BPAC device can't scan your features. You'll need a hat, some sunglasses, a beard, anything to throw up the accuracy of the machine. Even then, covering your face may not be enough. You could be tracked from something as simple as the way you walk. The U.S. military has access to eyes in the sky that can zoom down and recognize your gait by analyzing your shadow and the positioning of the sun. You've heard of Big Brother? This is Bigger Brother. That's why it's important to alter the way that you walk. If you walked with your shoulders all tight, now what you're going to do is walk nice and open. Long, easy strides. So you've taken measures to foil surveillance based on reading your gait, your behavior, eyes, and your facial features. But what if there were a machine that could read your mind? The Department of Homeland Security has been developing technology that can detect dangerous acts before they even happen. Imagine an image that only you would react to. These images produce a subtle yet detectable response. Increased heart rate, rises in body temperature, shortness of breath. Hidden cameras and sensors pick up these responses and pick out people trying to hide out in a crowd. This is the science of pre-detection. Again, the average Joe in the street has nothing to worry about, but this anticipatory technology should give you pause. In the future, if Big Brother was truly intent on finding you, he can know your next move before you even do. So before you think of running, stop. They already knew you were going to do that. Now that's enough to make you never want to step outside. Coming up, your mission of total control of your privacy is almost complete if you can avoid one more trap. For more information on protecting your privacy, go to discovery.com slash track me if you can. You've reached the three month mark on your journey to a new you. You think your privacy is secure, but at this point, Many people begin to show signs of paranoia, and you may be beginning to crack. With all these methods of surveillance, when does paranoia become irrational? And when is it justified? Or maybe it's like the old adage, just because you're paranoid, 
doesn't mean that they're not out to get you. You can't help but think, what if you missed something? When you look back at your exhaustive journey, you seem to have done everything right, from disconnecting to disappearing to reinventing and reassimilating. You fought off the urge to reach out to old friends. You continue safe internet protocol, prepay for all goods, and use disposable cell phones. But what if something slipped through the cracks? Every time you check into an airport, your luggage gets a paper tag with a barcode. However, some airlines have tested out a new system that tags baggage with locator chips. These tags send out a signal that can be tracked by GPS. Great for finding lost luggage, not so great for your privacy. Luckily, you're too clever to be caught like that. Because at this point, you've gotten rid of all foreign objects. Or, better yet, in the event you were being followed, You've conveniently left behind a dummy bag with a trackable tag to throw any potential pursuers, real or imagined, off your trail. Never underestimate the power of disinformation. So you've made it to the three month mark and you've proven that you truly know how to disappear. Nice work. But your journey from one identity to the next has just begun. Your biggest struggle from now on is guarding against complacency. Maintaining your privacy is a 24-7 proposition. All it takes is one slip up and you'll blow the whole thing wide open. So welcome to your new normal. Ironically, the less that you interface with technology, the better off that you'll be. But it's also technology that'll protect you from further invasions against your privacy in a perpetual game of cat and mouse. It's a modern day paradox and only you can decide how to balance it. You still have seven to 10 years to go before your old identity disappears from most databases. Until then, you'll carve out a new existence, maybe even gain some semblance of peace. But you're going to need to stay on your toes as you learn to adjust to a life of solitude living under the radar and on the fringes of modern life.